Now, you know her as one of the great voices of country music, and I mean truly great voices. An award-winning, multi-platinum artist. She's got more than 20 hit singles. But now she is sharing the personal stories and struggles behind all her music success. This is a terrific new memoir. It's called Born to Fly. Of course it is. And who else would I be talking about? Sarah Evans. Would you welcome her, please? Hi. Thank you. Sarah, it is a great book. Uh, I told you before, I read every word of it. I was truly just absorbed in the story because, you know, I didn't know a lot of stuff. Uh, you really paid the price. You know, people think, oh, Sarah Evans, she's a megastar. I bet she was overnight success. Right. Not quite. No, not at all. I mean, I grew up on a farm in Missouri. I'm the third oldest of seven kids. Um, but my mother saw that my two older brothers and I had musical talent when I was four. Yeah. And so she, for some reason, just had the, the drive and the wherewithal, and she's an entrepreneur at heart, to put a band around us, buy music equipment, start booking us. So by the time I was six years old, I was uh, singing in bars and at rodeos and festivals <laughs> and fairs, and I've been on stage my whole life. But I've also been sort of followed by drama my entire life. Well, you know, I, I think that was one of the intriguing things about it. You were born to fly, born to sing, born to be on the stage. I mean, there's no doubt about it. But, but I, I just want to emphasize how blessed you were to have a mother who saw that and saw the talent that you and your brother Matt and others had and, and mm -hmm. said, I'm going to encourage it, buy instruments and, and let you do it. You know, I just texted her the other day because I've been doing all this press for the mm -hmm. book. And I said, you know, I, I really just wanted to ask you what made you do that? Like what, you know, because I believe it was, she was led by God. I mean, she honestly, wanted to get rid of you. That's what it was. And she, she said, you. I wanted you, I saw that you guys had talent. I wanted you to become more than just a, an athlete in a small town, Yeah. you know. Um, and so I'm so grateful that she did. But, you know, it. I also, in the book, I, I was struck by how hard it was because female artists weren't given the fair shake. Radio wouldn't play female artists in the same way they would play male artists. You had to work three times harder. Yes. What do you think was behind that? Because you know, don't we don't know. even think that that's possible these days. To be honest, when I first came onto the scene, it was so much better than it is now. When I came onto the scene, um, there were so many women on the charts. Trisha Yearwood, Faith Hill, Martina McBride, Reba McIntyre, Patti Loveless, on and on and on. So, um, but it, around 2011, um, something just changed and they started playing what I called bro country. And I just realized after I had this huge, enormous hit with a song called A Little Bit Stronger, um, after that, I was having such a hard time getting on the radio and having to do so much more, you know, work, visiting the radio stations and playing shows for them. And, and then it just got to where you would look at the top 50 and see two women and 48 men. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, it's still kind of that way today. Mm -hmm. So I'm thankful that I was already blessed with an amazing fan base and... So they're there for me with all the new music that I release. Well, if it's any consolation, I was part of that fan base because Thank from the you. first time I ever heard you on the radio, I said, what a voice. Oh my gosh, what a voice. And you have never disappointed. And, and through all these years, there were so many things about you on a personal level that I didn't know. Most importantly, how your faith was such a real part of framing the life of Sarah Evans. Mm -hmm. A big part of you. Yeah, well, I, like I said, I've, had drama my entire life. When I was four years old, I almost died because I rode my tricycle into a, an open well on our farm. Um, and then when I was eight years old, I got hit by a car. The car was going 75 miles an hour. I broke both my legs, both my arms, and mm. I had a severe concussion. I was in the hospital for six weeks. It was at that time, you know, I had all these visitors coming to see me saying, you sure are a lucky little girl. God was watching out for you. God sure has a plan for you. And that just kept, you know, sticking. And it was sort of like I just had this wink, wink with God that, you know, yeah, you saved my life. Because if you think about an eight-year-old child getting hit by a car going 75 miles mm. an hour, that's just miraculous that I live. So that's where my faith really began and just grew. You had uh, another near-death experience. I mean, you could have named this book, I Defied Death, over and over, and I'm still here. I mean, really, if, if it's true that a cat has nine lives, I mean, I've used three of those for sure. The airplane, um, you were in a plane. I know what happened to that airplane. I, I do a lot of flying and it is a miracle 
that you made it out of that airplane because the gyroscope and the autopilot went out. You were flying upside down. The pilots, fortunately, were smart enough to, to recognize what was happening. But that's something that even good pilots can't always fix. Correct. So the fact you guys pulled out of that and were able to land, a little shaken up. Yeah. Again, God had his hand on you yet again. Yeah, and you know it's amazing. My brother who's been on stage with me my whole life, he was in the airplane with me along with his wife who was pregnant with my niece. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to talk about this because you know she needed to be born. That's why we survived. Mm. But we were about half a second from hitting the ground and I completely accepted death. I knew that I was just, you know, any moment I was gonna cross over and be face to face with Jesus. And, and we didn't die. I mean, we, we literally were half a second from hitting the ground. And um, I don't wanna give it all away because I want you to buy the book, so you'll read it. But, <laughs> I love uh, the marketing, yeah. I love that, yeah. I love it. But <laughs> yes, and it was after we survived, after we knew that we were safe, that's when I really lost my mind yeah. because then I wanted my children so badly. Uh, I can yeah. only imagine. Well, it is a great book. I loved it. It was fun reading about it because I already, you know, loved your music. And now I just love you. And I, I think what a lovely person and a great human being and uh, makes me want to buy all of your albums. I've already got your book, Born to Fly, but you got a brand new album out called Copy That. And it's filled with some of the great music of all of our lives. And uh, it, it's a winner. Thank Great you. Job. Well, I grew up on stage doing cover tunes. And yeah. you know, when you're singing to people two-stepping, you know, you have to learn all the current country hits, but we also covered all artists, Fleetwood Mac, The Eagles, and this is um, my first and only covers record. So my son, Avery, played almost all the guitar parts on it. My daughter, Olivia, sang all the harmony. Um, and we had the best time in the studio that I think I've ever had, but it was so hard to choose the songs. Oh, I can imagine. Um, but I do Hank Williams, Patsy Cline, The Wallflowers, uh, Fleetwood Mac, uh, and, Chicago. And you, and you do them well. Thank you. And I can't, I don't yeah. want the interview to be over without complimenting you as a musician as well and this amazing band, <laughs> honestly. Because when we did Crazy Love, yeah. I was so impressed and I didn't know that you were a bass player and I love bass players. My anything. brother is a bass player. Um, <laughs> and also I love your daughter and she has a great name. Thank you. Yes, she does. <laughs> Sarah Evans, thank you for being here. Thank you. We are thrilled having you here. Hey, Keith Bilbrey, I want you to tell everybody in the audience how they can get Sarah's new memoir and the new album that they are gonna want for sure. Sarah, don't get carried away, please. You can find Sarah's book, Born to Fly, and her new album, Copy That, at sarahevans.com. You can also watch her online show, Closet Chaos, while you're there. And follow her on social media.